What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing two episodes of Haikyuu and then I'll do the other two in a couple of days to finish up the season and then we'll move into season two. But today we are going to see more of the matchup between Karasuno and Aoba Josai. So I'm um, looking forward to that to see how they will wrap up the season and also there will be a review of season one and then we'll move into season two. Um, if you have not watched my Demon Slayer reaction or you don't watch my Demon Slayer reaction, you know that I'm, I've finished Demon Slayer now. So um, what I'm going to be doing is concentrating on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Haikyuu. But for Yu Yu Hakusho, I'm not going to replace Demon Slayer until I finish Yu Yu Hakusho. We're gonna, I'm gonna replace both of them at once. So we'll start two new animes at the same time. I'm doing this for my, I have my personal reasons. Don't want to, don't need to discuss that. Just know that that's what I'm planning to do so that I can have more time to do Yu Yu Hakusho and finishing up um, a little bit quicker than I hope. So that's for that. Anyways, for Haikyuu, I'm looking forward to see what what else are they going to present here um if you have not seen also if you watch my um channel very often i don't know what it is did. i finally i did a game review um on my channel i don't know if you guys are interested in seeing my review of the last of us part two i did a review of it uh, if you want, you can go check that out. If you didn't get the notification of it or whatever the situation is, and you just want to hear my take on it, um, I left a review over there. And the reason why I left the review, because, you know, some people want to come at me talking about, oh, so you didn't play the game, so how can you have a review? Listen, I don't have to play that game to know that it's trash. You can watch some, you can literally watch somebody play games on YouTube and have a review about it. If you don't want, if you, if you don't have no respect for me, I decided, I did, I'm not going to let's not talk about that right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll just address that in a different video, but cause I'm, I'm getting heated because people try to, people try to come at me talking about you didn't play the game. I did, I just, after I saw the leaks, I didn't want to play the game. So I said, I'm going to watch somebody play it and see what the story is about because it's not about the gameplay this game is not about gameplay it is not about gameplay the entire game is basically cutscenes, anyways it could have been a damn movie anyway let's jump into this these reactions and i'll see you guys for the review i'm sorry <laughs> all right so haikyuu episodes 22 and 23 right <sighs> this match is intense it's intense we 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 pull back got the second set but this third set is uh <laughs> this third set is something else and as i said man as i've always said since this match started is respect to aikawa you know, we got to see a little bit of his backstory and how he felt. I mean, that's cool. What is it? She, 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 I don't even know. His name is too long. Um, that must be one formidable school because, and it looks like everybody is like trying to beat that one dude, that top dude, you know what I mean? So it's like, he. He's that dude because everybody talks about him. Every school is like, yo, them dudes are the shit. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to seeing that school play because, I mean, right now, Karasuna is going through this motion. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not sure they're going to win this match. I'm not even going to lie. Like, they brought it back to dudes. They could still lose. They got to lose. You know what I'm saying? They got to lose by two, Um, you know. A team got to win by two, you know, so we'll see if they're going to pull through and get a point over um, Oikawa's team or Seijo. Um, so um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But these two episodes were very, very intense. I appreciate um, how intense they're trying to make. See, that's why I can't even really talk because I'm trying to see what's going on. Um, you know, to, to really be there, like have a sense of, 
um relief when they got that point just now to end the episode because it was like it it was not ideal you know what i'm saying for him to jump up and get that one-handed that one-handed um set um one-handed quick to Inata, that was pretty cool. Um, Inata got that spike. You know, Inata is gonna get up there. You know what I mean? That was pretty cool. So, um, respect Oikawa all the time, man. He deserves it. Um, he definitely works hard at his craft. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's nothing stronger than a hard working genius. And that's the thing. Um, you know, it's a trope in anime, yes. But at the same time, it's always good to see, you know what I mean? Like it never gets stale. In my opinion, it never gets stale. You know, um, it's something that we harp on in society too. You know what I mean? Um, in society itself is something that we look at and we're like, man, if you would only work a little bit harder, you would see your own potential. See a guy who knows that they're talented, they're talented normally normally they tend to be lazy gen in general in general talented people i don't know for some reason they just don't they just don't work hard they just don't work hard because everything just comes so easy to them they learn things easily they pick up on things easily and they just don't work at it they don't pick something and work at it to become successful in general but when they do they're a force to be reckoned with you know what i mean so I look at Kageyama as that type of hardworking genius kind of guy. You got to work on yourself. And usually, you know, they have those tropes too where it's like, you know what I'm saying? You have a genius that is very shy, very antisocial and stuff like that. And that is a that is actually something that's very common among people who, as I said before, you know, consider genius at something. They're usually very antisocial. They don't know how to talk to people because it's like, I don't know if they, I don't know what is it, but usually geniuses is like they come off as this, they have this superior superiority complex or this God complex, if you want to call it that, whereas in I'm better than you, I'm always going to be better than you, no matter what you do, I'm always going to be better than you. Um, so they have this, this, this intellect, but then they end up in this state where go play a single sport because you're not with that attitude you can't be playing team sport you just can't you can't be teammates with, with people and be like that and i'm glad that kageyama is breaking out of that shell you know what i'm saying to even try something new even complimenting sukishima even though you know him and sukishima has been going at it since like the beginning of the the, the anime you know they've been going at it you know so for him to learn you know what i'm saying when we on the court we are, we are teammates. Off the court, we can rag on each other all we want. You know what I'm saying? We know Suki's not going to stop calling him king. But at the same time, when we on the court, we teammates, we bros, okay? So, you got a lot of that dynamic, too, when it comes on to this anime, and I love it. Right? So, um, I appreciate y'all, man, for continuing to check out these episodes. All I have to say, um, I thank you guys. Gratitude is never enough like comment subscribe if you're new stare by reacts i'm out